I was coming up with a really great concept, and I was just yes, um, please. Okay, so I just want to be like a dad. I just want to be a dad, yeah. a single You're the dad, dad of the drummer, looking for adventure. <laughs> Like, like you know, my, my son's kids, in this band. Yeah, like my, my kids have all left the nest. And... <laughs> no, and it's just, funny I because just want to, like, I have learn. met so many of these dads behind <laughs> the stage, and like they love their fucking kids, but it's exactly true that like they're having a midlife crisis <laughs> and they have too much time on their hands. Yep. And you're like, why are you here? <laughs> Okay, we're back. Uh, no, it's okay. all good. Oh, except for this is going to be a problem for me, uh, because apparently if I switch off of this tab, it for some reason it's 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 meaning that it's not showing you all anymore, and I have notes and I can't read. Awesome! Uh -oh. Yay! Welcome to Big Time Space, where on the second episode of our show we still continue to have technical difficulties. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nope, that's the wrong uh, document. Um, you gotta get uh -oh. two screens, I Ben. Know. I have two screens. I have two screens. Oh, I you just you know what three. it is. <laughs> you gotta get three screens, Ben. <laughs> you know what it is? It's that um, I, uh, ha I didn't open my notes in the right screen. That's the problem. Hey, that's welcome to was, Big yeah. Time Space, where we have technical glitches. Uh, I am. Uh, I'm Ben. It's a cut. Hey, Big Time Space is a comedy. I got my notes up now. It's a comedy sci fi actual play stream presented by the All Ports Open Network, where we follow BTS, Big Time Space, the galaxy's biggest ego in pop and rock music, on tour and the exploits of his stage and ship crew as they clean up his messes and pay off his debts and try to keep him alive. Uh, last time on Big Time Space, we held a world building session to create our new goofy galaxy. Together, we played a very wonderful narrative city building game called. I'm sorry, did you say Street Magic? That is the name of the game. If you didn't watch that episode, that is actually the name of the game. Um, if you did miss it, you can go back and watch uh, that super fun episode. It's really cool, it's really fun. Uh, on our Big Time Space YouTube channel or at allportsopen.com. It would be really sweet if you all subscribe to BTS Big Time Space. Sorry, I should say Big Time Space on YouTube. BTS might come up as something else. If you search, <laughs> if I you don't think I don't think they're that popular. Yeah, if you search YouTube for BTS, I don't can't really say what'll come up. Uh, Mostly behind the scenes stuff. I don't think there's anything else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, that was last time on the show. This time tonight, we are going to be creating characters using the OSR game Troika, a truly unique science fantasy game. I'm really excited to dig into some character creation. Uh, before that, though, let's go ahead and meet our cast here of Big Time Space um, in no particular order. Uh, the only order being... That he is currently above me. Uh, Riley, uh, why don't you tell everyone, this is only our second episode, why don't you reintroduce yourself, tell everyone a little bit about yourself, and we'll just go around from there. My name is Riley Coyote. I am here to play Troika because it's one of my favorite games of all time. Um, but when I'm not here playing Troika, you can find me at afterthought.games. We publish stuff for Old School Essentials and Castaway, and we're currently crowdfunding. Uh, I said that very strangely, but we're currently crowdfunding. Oh, I did it again. And already... Sorry, we should <laughs> That's be all right. back. It's, I gotta be careful. We'll be back when I any second. <laughs> uh, be but yeah, we're currently 25% of the way to our goal. Um, so if you can help us get even farther, that would be great. Uh, yes. Uh, so you, um, you, yeah, I was going to, I was going to initiate you to go ahead and plug your uh, game for Zemo, but I guess you already did that. Oh, yeah. 
Check it out at afterthought.games. Sweet, 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 sweet. Uh, we'll keep going around a little circle. Uh, Connor, uh, you want to introduce yourself to folks? Are you, is Connor with us in a fluid way or a jumpy way? Let's find out. <laughs> I'm here. Jumpy. Jumpy. I think. Jumpy. jumpy. <laughs> It's fluid on my end, so screw you. <laughs> oh my god! I, I, I kind of prefer it this way because we get some really good screenshots. <laughs> it's amazing. You know, it's emphasis. It's like screw you with a big yeah. smile. Yeah, for sure. It's my favorite bit. It's our best. It's our best bit. So I'm gonna reconnect, but uh, hi, I'm Connor. It's your boy. You almost shouldn't reconnect. Like, it's too good. It's just, like, the best freeze frames of you it could possibly be. Um, <laughs> although I do kind of wish... It's a fight on my end. I do kind of wish we still had uh, Bigfoot Connor from a few minutes ago before we went live on this stream. Um, uh, You're all dead to me. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we'll blame Discord because Discord went down earlier today for people who might not know yeah, that. Yeah, Discord's and... having trouble. Yeah. I did oh. not know that. Yeah, I didn't either. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, we're the people that didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. The Discord API went down today, and then I was like, oh, I guess I'll – I mean, worst case scenario would have been we would have done this on Zoom, and then, and then we would have uh... – Well, at least on Zoom, I, like, know how my stuff is. I'm reconnecting. This is <laughs> – that was my favorite. That was good. That was, that was, that was good. a good one, yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way, everyone, I just want to point out that we had name tags this week. Uh, name, nice. We have name plates yeah, this week. Yeah, great job. Thank you. I know. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, last but not least, um, we have uh, – I was going to think of some joke, but nothing came to me. Ashton's here. Hi, Hi. Ashton. Um, what's going on, Power Bottoms? Welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play. I have IBS, and that's okay. Today I'm Ashton. Um, yeah. Tomorrow she might not be Ashton. I might not be. Who knows? Yeah. I'm pretty uh, disappointed anyway. it doesn't say my name Ashton on the screen right now. <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, hold on. I mean, you don't have to do it. Have to. Um, there we go. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, you can uh, check out things that I wrote. Um, Friday Night Fights is the only thing that I wrote. <laughs> but, yeah, you can Google that. Friday Knight Fights. So, go. Knight is with a K, yep. Um, it's about King Arthur. He was a dumb himbo. Or just follow us on Twitter. It's at FKF Tweets. Uh, and we're coming back with the second half of Season 1 on February 4th. So... I keep doing it. I keep yeah. doing it because I'm trying to, <laughs> like... <laughs> I know. I'm just, like, it's just not my night for technical difficulties. Somehow, even though it was all set up before for, like, screen grabbing Discord in the right way, when I opened it up today, and I looked at it earlier to make sure everything looked good, but when I opened up tonight, it was, like, screen capping in a different way. For some reason, it's, and I don't know, if it, I don't know what it is. I would blame it on my computer updating to Windows 11, but that happened before we streamed last week. For some <laughs> reason, it switched from, like, a window capture to a screen capture, and I didn't have time know, to change man. it. But it was, like, I didn't even realize it was going to... I was like, oh, okay, I got it. It looks good. I can see everybody, which I can, but I didn't realize till it was too late if I change what's on the screen. <laughs> we no longer appear. And so um, anyway, it should be workable. It should be workable. Um, yeah, it looks great. Speaking of <laughs> working, <laughs> speaking of working, I reconnect my camera. Am I fluid yeah, again? I'm or am I? Sadly, yes. Yes. Yeah. Take that. Well, I'm frankly disappointed. Patriarchy. I'm frankly disappointed. Don't, don't worry about these issues, Ben. It couldn't be as embarrassing as last night. I streamed one half of my entire interview because I couldn't turn it off while I was on someone else's channel. Oh, so, no. It was so bad. That's really funny, actually. Oh, man. It's great. <sighs> yeah. I, I, it, it, no matter how many times we... Like, how many times I've streamed, I've streamed so many times, no matter how many times, I've, like, something always still goes wrong. Always. But, but you know what? Like, if you look at this overlay, uh, one thing I'm proud that I fixed from last time, other than the nameplates, is I realized far too late last time that the uh, chat was too small for everybody to read. And oh. look, it, that was an easy fix. I knew how to fix that one last week. If you look, I'm gonna, we've got a chat, and, well, it, there's a delay on it. But there it is. Boom. Yeah, oh wow, that's yeah. nice. You can I know it's so nice. We're real professional. You can see it. 
real professional now. Um, but anyway, uh, we are here to do character creation, and um, so we're gonna we're gonna do that. We're gonna do some character creation for the game Troika. Troika is a very unique <laughs> space, like like science fantasy. I think is what the book calls itself, as far as genre. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. Um, yeah, and so like it's, I don't know. How would you describe Riley? You've played this game before. How would you describe the feel and tone uh, of I mean, Troika? It's so unique. Yeah, it really depends because Troika can can fit so many different styles. But like, if you're just using the core book, that yeah. science fantasy kind of pours through every detail, like through the rules, through the backgrounds, everything. You're getting setting in every page. Um, and it would essentially be like if Hunter Thompson and probably Douglas Adams, you know, did a bunch of mushrooms. Yeah. I think they, they say something like that. Like they smoke a bunch of weed and do a bunch of mushrooms and write a book. It's basically how I, how I see Troika. It's completely wacky and absurd and anything goes and, you know, logic is abandoned. Balance is abandoned. Yeah. And the only thing that matters is playing and having fun. Yeah. Yeah. So when I was pitching this show, uh, I think I talked about this a little bit last time, but when I was pitching this show to a different friend of mine, uh, he was like, it sounds like your perfect game for this is Troika and you need to play Troika. And then when I was telling Riley about the show, Riley was like, oh, if I could pick a game for us to play for the show, it would be Troika. And I was like, well, it's got to be. <laughs> it's got to <laughs> Like, that's too perfect. It has to be. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, folks missed it last week. We did do world building with that other game. I encourage you to go check out some of the stuff that we did with that and we're going to kind of build on that tonight with our character creation the premise here is that our cast is playing the stage slash slash ship crew sorry it came out a little weird um for a intergalactic rock slash pop slash formerly indie rock star i guess gone mainstream um big time space he got his start on the planet milk uh at the um Oh my my! I can't bring my notes up because we'll lose our cast on the screen. Um, so I Stank pot. The I've screen. never forgotten. One eight hundred. So one eight hundred stank pots. The address of the stank pot of the stank pot yeah. on the planet milk. And then Forgot. the the and then and then the uh, phone number is one eight hundred stank pot something. Oh, it's in the notes. Um, yeah, I forget. Well, anyway, so I like that the address is a phone number, and then the phone number is a longer phone number. <laughs> yeah. um, if you just keep pressing it, yeah. God, we're funny. <laughs> uh, Remember this? So anyway, so we're going to be creating our characters that we're going to be playing for at least part of the time. Like, like we were kind of talking about, um, I in Troika, usually people die, characters die really quickly. We this is not what we sort of anticipate for this show, because I think for a show like this, it's good to have some amount of consistency about the uh, mm -hmm. characters we're seeing. But who knows? Also, uh, <laughs> like everything is on the table. I this. think that the the crew is quite large. Okay, you know, yeah. I think there's potential to meet dozens of of characters here um, oh, over the that. course of whatever story we tell. You know, so even if they don't die, you know, let's say dude goes out for a cigarette and the door locks behind him and then like you roll up a new character the next scene i love that you don't know we could do some of that too if we want to especially because of how fast you can roll up characters so like if we want to do some of that just for fun we 100 percent can hey, hey it's our fucking show we can do whatever we want uh by the way i i do have for our viewers here we'll see if it works right i queued up it's gonna block part of the screen but i queued up the character sheet so people can see what it looks like so let's see if it will work. Nope. See, because the overlay is not working right now. But, oh, what a bummer. Oh, well. I was going to show. Oh, what a bummer. Yeah, I was going to show people. Well, I can show what, a character well, maybe sheet if I do on this, camera. Is it working now? It is, but now you guys are gone and you're all the character sheet. My God. <laughs> We're all the character sheet now. Oh, there. Look, I got it. I did it. It just. You I, sort of did it, yeah. Oh, wow. It. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so I did it. So. All right, so if you, nice. <laughs> if people want to see the, oh God, one of these weeks we'll get the technical stuff correct. No, um, we won't, and you don't have to lie to them. <laughs> uh, all right, fine. <laughs> Radical honesty is what they get from now on. 
Um, but yeah, you can see that's give you an idea there, viewers, of what the character sheet looks like. Uh, I will now take it away so it's not blocking our chat and our overlay. <laughs> Boom. Uh, we would love... Um, we would love to have input from people as to, like, jokes, I don't know, stuff they want to see in characters. So anyone who's watching this who wants to throw uh, stuff uh, stuff in there. Uh, Riley, you liked that I call, said jokes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If somebody could please tell some <laughs> jokes in our chat. Yeah. Funny. <laughs> we'll read them. You tell the jokes, we'll read them, and it'll be real funny. Yeah, it'll yeah. Be really funny. yeah. It'll be great. It'll be, it'll be really great. We're short on jokes uh, around here. We need some audience-induced jokes. We're too yeah. serious. Uh, oh, far too serious. Um, My I mean, therapist how says I need to work well, on that. Wait, guys, how many people do we have in the audience right now? Tons, thousands. Uh, uh, 17. Okay, then we already have thousands of jokes right there. Uh, That's right. <laughs> uh, we have less people watching tonight than we did last <clears> time, <throat> and I take that to mean that – why is that? Uh, it's because uh, they all hate there. me. Clearly, I got nothing. I got no good reason. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone dashed back to Discord after it was down all day to get in there yeah. to get in some sweet. Get uh, fixed. Yeah, <laughs> everyone's playing Among Us tonight. That's what's happening. Anyway. I mean, <clears throat> all right. So let's. Uh, we're gonna start with. I think we decided before the show that we were going to start with Riley, who's done this before, yep. to kind of walk through character creation a little bit. Um, I can't even bring – I can – so I can bring the book up for myself so I can read along. It's just going to mean you all – everyone's going to disappear again for a second and then come back. So hold on. I got you. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I got you right here. Everyone there is a joke in the, in the chat, time. by the way, that I would like to hear the second yeah, part of. Read it. No, go ahead. Read it. Read it. Oh. Uh, what did the five fingers say to the face? Oh, okay. And I don't know, and I'm very curious to find out what it is. What's and the, the anticipation joke? is killing me. What's the rest of the joke? What's the rest of the joke? Give us the joke. Where's the joke? I will hold this Give show hostage. Joke. Give us the joke. <laughs> you drop the joke. <laughs> I'm actually reading the, the rule book for the evolved. first time, so hold the joke. <laughs> No, you read. We'll 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 get the joke. Yeah. Did we get the joke? Nope, we still didn't get the joke. Well, joke. I still won't get the joke even after they say it. Um, so character creation is super easy. It's less yeah. than less than a page. Um, <laughs> Don't make fun of us. Don't make fun of us for not knowing things. What? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, uh, sorry, you were, so, you were saying so something yeah. important. <laughs> you, you get your character sheet, and then you roll a d6, yeah. and you divide it in two, and you add three, and that gives you your skill. So everybody, go ahead and roll a d6. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, ah, fuck. I, lo I, I already lost my dice. Okay. Awesome. Good I work. have to find where my dice rolling app is. Oh, Here it is. so professional. We're the best. This is great. That's oh, a good so, joke. Everyone's so going. I rolled a two, which means... You divide it in two. It's a one ah. plus three, so my skill is four, the lowest it can possibly be. <laughs> awesome. I rolled a five. You divide that by two. You add three. That's a five. You have to remind uh, me when I think you say you round up. You oh. round up, yeah. Yeah. So, so that's I just read the rule book. I know things. <laughs> uh huh. So it's a six total. So for that skill number, that's a general skill number, right? That's not you add that into general advanced skill. skills, but it's a general skill number. Okay. Yeah, that's your general skill. Cool, cool. Um, so yeah, Connor. So yours is six. Uh, Yay! Yeah. Hi, I can't do math. That's okay. Uh, Ashton, what was yours? One was a five. I can't do math either, but I know that I did that one right. I rolled a four. It's a five, right? You rolled a four, so yeah, so two plus three is five. Yes. Nice. Thanks for the joke. It was a good joke. It's from Chappelle's show. <laughs> uh, okay, so next thing, you're going to take both of your D6s, and then you're going to add 12 to it, and that's going to be your stamina, basically your hit points. Oh, I should probably write this down, shouldn't I? Yeah, on the character Definitely. sheet. There's a character sheet. Don't have one. There is. I. It's in. A, I at least sent you the PDF of it. 
I know. Hold on. Hold on. I have it saved to my... <laughs> okay, great. Um, you could seriously get away with having like a Google spreadsheet, like our Google, you know, document or whatever, because it's, oh, like, it's so few things to write down. You can just write it on a piece of paper. Well, so, I want to do it on here. So wait, it's we rolled a 2d6, then add 12. Yeah. Then add 12. Yep. You know how I just got a five and that gave me a six, which is the highest you can get for general skills. Yep. Want to guess what I just got for the other? Oh my god. Two sixes? I got a 12, yeah. If you didn't Very show nice. me, I would have accused you of uh, lies. And, uh, and then, you said plus 12? Yeah. Plus 12. Yep. Shit. Uh, can someone tell me what 6 plus 12 is? 18. Thank you. You helped her way too fast. Way faster, <laughs> way faster than I would have. All right, and then the last thing for luck, you roll 1d6 and then add 6 to it, and that gives you, like, your re-roll opportunities and stuff like that. I only got a 3. Uh, 1d6. Oh, fuck, the mushroom uh, is a 1. Oh, did you get a mushroom? I got a mushroom. It's no, a 1. Oh, no. Bummer. What's up? Can you guys tell me what 5 plus 6 is? No. You, I can't, I can't, be... my constitution will not allow me to tell you what 5 plus 6 is. I'm sorry. It's this. I'm not uh, looking now, at you. Now that everyone has their skill, their stamina, and their luck, um, everyone starts with 2d6 silver. Yeah, I wanted to talk about possessions. How um, do we, I, we you, I mean... For the purposes of this game, you guys could write down. Y'all could write down these items. But do these items make sense in our world is my question. I mean, they it's not that they don't Change make sense. Change whatever you want, really. I, I would say, like, 2d6, pennies or silver, whatever kind of space currency bucks. you want to use. Credits? Credits? Space bucks? Credits. Oh, yes. Mama Space Bucks is, like, the, the one who invented the space currency? Yeah. I like that. I like that they're her okay. currency. Like, do you, do you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, her coins. Yes. <laughs> She's all super into crypto. Based on it. <laughs> She's like a crypto yeah, bro, um, and they're all, and it's her currency. Everybody has a knife. I mean, in every universe, everybody has a knife. That's sure. just, you got to yeah. have a knife. Yeah. I, um, I, a, this a brings lantern, me back. We could have a cell phone or like a flashlight or something. Mm -hmm. Um, Question. Yeah. Coffee. Can my lantern and my knife be the same item, and I just yes! have like a really tiny lightsaber that's not a lightsaber for copyright issues? It's for uh, cutting toast. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Sure. Why not? I also what have five space books. I gotta turn oh. Riley up. Riley gets talked over too easily. I'm turning up your volume. <laughs> Sorry that it's we're so easily, loud. Huh? All right. What did you I say? always keep my mic really far away. Um, I turned you up in the audio, so you should be good. Cool. Uh, it says, what is a Karen called in Europe? Oh, what is a Karen called in Europe? I don't know. What, um, if you what, have... what am I rolling again? <laughs> not rolling anything. Oh, we're not rolling? No. Oh, I thought we got no, you, money you to roll. roll. Your, yeah, you roll your six for money. for your money. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then you get a knife and some sort of light source, some sort of bag, a purse, a backpack, a fanny pack. Oh, that's um, already too much. Um... And then food. So I think that we can probably leave most of that off and just say we all have something to carry stuff in. We all have food and we all have a light source yeah. and a knife. Like that's just baseline stuff. Yeah. Um, um, my bag is a Birkin. Nice. What's a Birkin? <laughs> What is uh, the, I, don't, the, I don't actually know. They're, they're a stupid expensive purse. Oh, okay. I definitely have one of those clear fanny packs. I don't know who my character is, but any character of mine would wear one of those clear fanny packs. <laughs> nice. Like the really plasticky ones? Yep. What um, and then the last thing you do... Oh, go ahead. Your, your, your thing ahead. is more important. No, I was making a dumb joke. Keep going. Back An American. Back. I love that. Um... <laughs> So, oh, that's actually really good. That is a really good joke. Um, so the next thing you do is you roll a d66, and what that means is you roll a d6, and then you say what it is, so mine's a 3, and then you roll another d6, and mine is a 1, so that would be a 31. And then you find ah. your backgrounds, and that's how you get your backgrounds. Or you can just choose the one that you like, 
or you can make one up. But so like I rolled a 31, which means it would be the gremlin catcher. Uh, and then I would write down the possessions and the advanced skills and, and try to keep that sort of image in mind when I was playing the character. It's just a small jumping off point, but it, you know, is mostly open-ended for you to make your own. Yeah, so I think I'm into making our own if people are into doing that. I'm into, and by I think, I mean, I definitely am. Uh, I'm also into picking. I think we could do random if you wanted to roll for them, but I think it's much more fun to, to pick. And we have... I, I, I yeah. did pick one, Okay. and I rewrote it to fit. Okay. If you want to see that, and then definitely we can go do. from there. I definitely do. Before before you tell us about it, that sounds awesome. I'm excited. Uh, there, I want to tell people there is not only the backgrounds in the book, and there's a background book that that Connor and Ashton have that's called a miscellany of backgrounds, which is more. I don't have the author in front of me. So many backgrounds. More backgrounds, and then I think Riley, you said you have even more books of backgrounds. Am I right? Yeah, I mean, I have like a box full of zines and I have yeah. a bunch of books here and a bunch of books here and there are lots of backgrounds in them. Cool. Um, so the one that I'm picking yeah. comes from Slow Slay to Plankton Downs. I've, I've rewritten uh, one of the backgrounds here to match what we've got going on. Let's see. Okay, so I have seven space bucks, right? Seven. I want to know what kind of inflation there is on space bucks. Like, how much are seven space bucks? Oh, I bet seven space bucks is, like, worth a pack of cigarettes. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yep. If Two bad, cheeseburgers. Two cheeseburgers, but really bad ones, really cheap ones. Well, Ashley uh, okay, is a ghost. So, Hold on, look at Ashton's leg. Yeah. You're My a... pants are green, so I'm just You're a ghost. Whoa. Yeah. Ghost leg. Um all right. That's, so that's what my I background. Got down here, you're you're the ghost in the ghost ship. Um, ghost leg. I am a scud roadie. Uh <laughs> and the special says a roadie keeps the works running because the band has to eat. The grease that seams a roadie's coveralls and calloused hands, no matter how often they wash either of them, smells of sweaty venues and the gear that connects, filters, and breathes life into a performance. All roadies smoke, but most seem to have just run out of cigarettes. All but the most pious play games of chance for pocket change, meals, and sunshine vouchers. Uh, his name is Jody, spelled G-E-O-D-E, -E, and his skills are bonding over shared hardships, fist fighting, uh, fixing anything, but not necessarily well and not necessarily with tools that are supposed to be used, um, recovering from something that kills most people, and winning at tabletop games. That is printed in the book there. I didn't make that up. Nice. What did you say uh, his... your name is? Jody, Jody. spelled G-E-O-D-E. Did you say two D's? G E O D E, like geode. Gotcha. Uh, his possessions are a canvas roll of hand tools, a kit of dice, a powered multi tool with a plasma core, uh, and a brass cigarette lighter. I love it. And that's it. Boom. This is fast for me and Connor, too. What was that? Super fast. Yeah, yeah we're going to zip through it. Yeah, I'm sure. Zipping. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Zip, Zip that's up. Uh, I love it. So how much of that was original and how much of that was adjusted for our game? Uh, ninety nine percent original. I changed Miller to Rody, and then I changed uh machines to gear. Could have been and like venues. Honestly, could have been Rody already, and I wouldn't have noticed. I don't think you know, like. Exactly. Oh, and look at this fucking guy. Can can we get? No, no, that's not gonna uh, work. 
no, it's nope, too much nope. glare. Oh, it's the worst. Here. Let's, there we go. There we go. Oh, yeah, you oh. got it. You got it. Nice. Hello. No, you still can't really see him, but oh well. He's an oh, ugly he kind of looks like a zombie. So what do you, what do you drop a picture in the chat? Tell us a little bit. Okay, cool. Tell us uh, about Jody. Like, since we have a hard time seeing that picture, or whatever. What do you think Jody looks like? Like, give us a physical description of Jody. Is Jody from, um, like, what is Jody humanoid? Is Jody some other weird space? Yeah. Thing? So, so Jody's humanoid, but he is like uh, um, uh, an android. Uh, okay. Or not? What, what's what's when it's two bionic? When it's human and cyborg, robot, like mixed like together, a, right? Yeah, but, cyborg. Mm -hmm. That's the word I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. So he's like a cyborg, right? And he's just like old and beat down, and and he stinks like shit all the time. Um, but he Me? really, really, really knows his gear, and so like he's the type of guy that like is is just silently, you know, keeping every everything connected and trying to get the stage set up and when there's a good show he takes all the credit for it and when there's a bad show he blames the gear you know um he's that kind of guy he's basically an amalgamation of every sound guy that i ever worked with when i was touring over the last few years just kind of uh put into one um so we'll see <laughs> we'll see how that goes i love that but uh but yeah as far as what he looks like um you can definitely tell that he's a cyborg because he's so broken down uh, and, and a lot of his shit is showing and like leaking oil and stuff like that. Um, but for some reason he's still going. Is it good or bad for his inner works, his robot works that he smokes? Like, I can't imagine that's good for a cyborg or maybe it is. No, it's terrible. It's, <laughs> it's the worst. It's like it, the reason he's a cyborg is because he keeps doing drugs and like <laughs> smoking and stuff. And, and so everything that he gets replaced is because his lungs have already failed, you know, and like <laughs> things like that. So he's just constantly getting work done. Uh, and that's why he has this gig. He's had this gig for who knows how long, just trying to keep things afloat to like make money for, for, for him to stay alive. I love it. Uh, and so we kind of have an idea of what like Jody does like on as stage crew do you think that he mm -hmm. does anything like as far as the ship goes like does he have any particular ship mm. ship roles probably not necessarily let's see let me look at his skills here he's probably just like a general fix-it guy on the ship you know like if it's electronics he can help but you know everything else he'll be happy to try and you know Maybe he'll fix it. Maybe he won't. Um, but the the bonding over shared hardship and the gambling and the winning at tabletop games thing, I think, really is like mostly he spends his time like with the crew. You know, raising morale, playing games. You know, keeping them occupied. Um, you know, he knows how to like keep overworked people happy. Love it. He's like that grandpa type of guy. So did you already tell us your advanced skills list? You might have said that, and then in my brain you jet. Yeah, it's uh, bond over shared hardship. Oh, those are fist skills. fighting. Okay. Yeah, fist fighting, fixing anything, recovering from something that most that kills most people, and winning at tabletop games. <laughs> I love recovering from anything that kills most people. That's amazing. <laughs> that is the most. It, I'm he's kid. only got two. <laughs> <laughs> he's only got two in all of these skills. <laughs> But that's like the most like beat up roadie skill you could possibly have. Like <laughs> exactly. I, I saw this background. I was like, that is the perfect for a roadie. It is. So yeah, that that's that's Jody. Jody the roadie. Oh my god, it's amazing. I love it. I'm, I love Jody already. Cool. So let's let's <laughs> uh, let's let's put a hold on Jody for the time being, and let's uh, make another character. So. Um, we already got some of the basic things going for both Ashton and Connor. Uh, do we want to talk about backgrounds for either of you? Do you want to make a background? Do you want to find one in one of these crazy books that we can adjust to fit what you're thinking? Like, what do you want to do? Ashton looks like she has. Thoughts. Ashton, Ashton must have found monkey monger because I see a smile creep yeah. across her face. Yeah. I didn't find that one. I, you know what? No, I did. And it spoke to me for sure. But no, I was coming up with a really great concept and I was just... Yes, um, please. 
Okay, so I just want to be like a dad. I just want to be a dad, yeah. a single the dad, dad drummer. looking for adventure. <laughs> Like, like you know, my, my son's kids, in this band. Yeah, like my, my kids have all left the nest. <laughs> no, and it's just, funny because I, just want, like, I have learn. met so many of these dads behind <laughs> the stage, and like they love their fucking kids, but it's exactly true that like they're having a midlife crisis <laughs> and they have too much time on their hands. Yep. And you're like, why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love that, that idea. Yeah, yeah. Um, I do, I don't know if this is, did I imagine, like, one of the backgrounds is, like, a griller or something? Isn't that a background in the original? Yeah, it's uh, the member of the Beefsteak Society or something. Oh, like that's that. right. <laughs> that's right. Do you want to base it Which, off of that, maybe? Like, um, I, I could. That was my, that was, like the one that I was thinking I could do, but if there's another one that we find that we that feels better. Well, let's look at it real quick. I Just for, okay. for funsies here, let's look at the uh, Beef Steak Society one. Um, <laughs> I gotta tell you all that one of my favorite things about this original Troika book, I think it's in the original one and not- Artwork? Is, well, yeah, no, that is great. But the, I, what I was going to say is that one of the backgrounds is a poorly made dwarf. Yeah, it is in the original book. Oh, yeah. It just makes you so happy that it's poorly made. I just love the flavor text on that. It's like uh, the other dwarfs will like make fun of you for being poorly made, but nobody else can really tell the difference. Other dwarves will completely ignore you as though you were a piece of furniture. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. It's what it was. That. <laughs> very occasionally may openly examine and comment thoughtfully to themselves on your unforgivable flaws, possibly while marking areas for improvement on your body with a grease pen. <laughs> oh, here's you can do here's that one as well. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I got distracted. Uh, so good. Tell us about Beefsteak Boy. So, Beefsteak beef Boy is a brawler, it looks like. A fellow of the Sublime Society of Beefsteaks. Brawlers believe the application of might and a good beef steak is the universal truth. Words have no power and can no more define the universe than they can build a house, lift a cup, or sear a steak. But might can. Really, they have thought a lot about this. So they're beef steak in more, than, more ways than one, at least as written. Yeah. So I, do, does that sound like what you were thinking, or is it too um, bullish or, like, too... A little too bullish. Like, I want, like, he's he's a nice dad, <laughs> you know? Like, he's... <laughs> Okay, okay, I think I have something. I think he's a nice dad. He's like a he's not like a military dad. He's like he wants to go outside and grill in socks and sandals and like make sure that you guys wear sunscreen. I got it. I got it. It could be gremlin catcher. <laughs> okay. okay. How about this? You have been many things. Detective, roustabout, commander. Father was a surprise. And their mother's sudden death. Unfortunate, then, that you've come to rely so much on your children. They've let you down so many times. Now the fate of the world is at stake. Perhaps there's time to teach them the humble joys of your childhood. Perhaps they will rise to the challenge. You have a six-pack of beer, an ancient chair, a quad-foot walking cane, uh, a rank and insignia, your skills are secret signs for the shadow government. Strategize, investigate, lie, fight with your cane. Uh, and your special is if you turn your back on your children, test your luck to grant them plus one to skill and damage rolls for the remainder of a fight. After, you must congratulate one of your children and chastise the other. You may only, re <laughs> you may only regain stamina and luck while resting in your ancient chair. <laughs> do it that's, that's so what i have to do yeah obviously are, are you into that one yeah absolutely <laughs> okay in your ancient chair. yeah i got it i've i've never seen fraser but <laughs> but that's based off of the dad from fraser <laughs> i mean yeah yeah i mean that's yeah that's gonna be it that's it Okay, that's gotta be it, right? Yep. Yeah, we're gonna dig into this a little bit. 
So what what important stats does uh, Ash need to put down on the character sheet? Uh, well, actually, let's let's let you want to do a name before. We, what, what order do you want to do this? Well, I, I was gonna say all you really need to worry about are the possessions and the skills. Right. And then y you can come up with the rest on your own. Like you know your concept better than anybody. Right. Okay. Uh, hold on. Where is the thing? Okay. 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 Um, so, give me, can, can I have the skills again? <laughs> uh, so, starting with skills. Okay. Starting with skills, you have secret signs, shadow government, like in parentheses. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that is a three. Uh, is that rank? That goes in the, f yeah, that goes in the next box. Okay. Um, and then the next one is strategize, and that's a two. Okay. And then you have investigate, also a two. Uh, okay, yep, okay. Lie, which is a two. And then the last thing is cane fighting, and that's a one. I see. What they did there. I see what they did there because uh, the character on Frasier is named Martin Crane. It's close. Cane Crane. No, maybe it's a stretch. It's no, that a is cane. a stretch. That is a stretch, but it is called Martin with a Y. They they could got away with it like that. All right, fair. And Roz is R A W. Does that show up? No, mm. that doesn't show up. There it is. Oh, I see it, Roz. Okay, all right. Number four, uh, uh, cane fighting. Yeah, cane fighting, and that's a one. Okay. So you got secret signs, strategize, investigate, mm -hmm. lie, and cane fighting. Okay. <laughs> and then your possessions. You got yeah. a six pack of your favorite beer. Got it. Love it. Which is you have an called ancient... what? Sorry. I you have to give me a minute. To come up with the puns. Okay, yeah. That's fine. You, you gotta get we some have to, you have to come names. back. I'll circle back to it's, the favorite beer. It's, it's space beer, man. Yeah. Uh, you have an ancient chair. And then uh, it says plus one strategize while sitting in it. Um, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Please let me check that. Okay. Okay. Then you have your cane. Mm -hmm. And then it says rank and insignia. So I guess that would mean like you're just uh, a higher up in the crew. Oh, yeah. I love that. Well, you are a dad, so it makes sense. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. And that's it. Okay. Fantastic. All right. Okay. Oh, you do want to write down in your special, you may only regain stamina and luck while resting in your ancient chair. Okay. Can't forget that important detail. Yeah. So this is what I'm going to say, Ashton. Think some uh. more about some of the details about this dad character, including like name and other details. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll go over to Connor, work on some Connor yeah. time here. And then we'll circle back to talk about Fantastic. everyone's new favorite dad. <laughs> uh, so, uh, hey Connor, what's up? Hey, hey, hey! What are your What are you thinking about over there? What's going on? Uh, you got the okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I have an idea for a character, but then I just read the background. That's a stack of cats. Yeah, that one's. Oh special. yeah. I mean, like. I'm not going to, but <laughs> if my character dies, I'm coming back as well, multiple cats. Save it for a side adventure, and like sometime we can have kind of like Riley was saying, where we have like a lot of people on the ship we don't necessarily always see. We could have like some sort of away mission, you know, like you know, you gotta have the away mission episode where like the it's like the ensigns or something, or like I don't know the you know what I'm saying like. Uh, characters mm -hmm. that aren't normally the main cast, they get to they get to have their appearance, and one of them will be a stack of cats. They will be a stack of cats. I promise the audience there will be cats. Okay. So, what is the uh, character uh, 
type that you were thinking about. Okay, so I was thinking of using the background epopt, epopt, epop t. Okay. Uh, Oops. Yeah, it reads: You're a roaming seer, selling your visions at courts and feats. You're instantly recognizable by your yellow coif and habit as you being open for business. Road weary and world wise, your unpopular visions cause you to constantly move on. Which like. It would make sense if BTS had like, you know, like a like a social media manager slash just like like merch manager and stuff in general too, who just you know, he's like BTS, according to the algorithm, the song is not gonna work. <laughs> you need to change these lyrics. Okay, can I throw something out for, for yeah. this? I have really, I have a thought about that. That popped into my head when you said the according to the algorithm. So this is a seer, right? And who sells visions and wears like a coif and habit, right? So it's like a little bit of like a religious thing. I really like the mm -hmm. idea that like your the religion or like the like the monasticism of this individual is the algorithm. Like capital A, <laughs> the algorithm. Yeah, and like capital you know, A yeah. algae rhythm from <laughs> Space Jam oh, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't want to get sued. So, uh, but yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I really like the idea of like you know you serve some, like there is some uh, like the like the algorithms of social media in our time period, but billions of years later have turned into some sort of like super. This AI is just algorithm. our our fancy social media manager he he tells us when to post at what times and what to post and, exactly. and you know makes us do videos and stuff like that and it's it, you've yes. got all the plans you know exactly what to do to like make us move forward oh it's exactly that okay. and like he his his like one character trait which people will see is he he tries to flirt but the way he flirts is he goes up and he's like hi so i've analyzed all of your social media profile and i think we could be a match. <laughs> yes. That's hilarious. A nice... See, I saw, I saw your uh, thirty nine, your post from thirty ninety two, and just I was also at that concert. <laughs> yep. Excuse me. We have a uh, the algorithm says we have a ninety nine point three one percent likelihood of success, in, in the, <laughs> if we were to date. Yeah, just incredibly, just like tech bro but like without charisma okay uh my pos yeah my possessions are a yellow epop outfit which i'm kind of just gonna reflavor as just like i just always have one like the bts like badges around my neck okay yeah just always wearing his merch Oops, nice I did it again Sorry, audience. I opened the wrong tab. That's the one. Got to fix this before next week so I don't have to keep making this mistake. Yeah. It says I have an epopped staff, a walking staff with a crystal on one end. Yeah. What do you want that to flavor that up for, uh, for us? Give it some. It's a microphone stand or some shit. <laughs> I was thinking, like, I don't know, like, a data pad tablet thing that I'm just constantly like. Oh, that makes sense. Like, Can it still be on a staff? Though? Is it like attached to your arm? I would like love it to life? still be on a staff. It's just like <laughs> a staff, and on top of it, there's a. Yeah, so I can just like. Oh. Yeah, so I can just set it down uh, uh, at any given point and like. Comes out. Oh yeah, I love that. Yeah. Yeah, so it can just like be set down and like I'm like scrolling through it with one hand while leaving the other free or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. a standing That's desk, cool. but traveling. Yeah. Exactly. Wherever you stand, you can like unfurl magically this whatever you need to work on. And yeah. When you're not working on it, it's just a staff. It's yeah, it's just a walking stick. It's it goes with the outfit. Nice. Which is again just like a blazer thrown over like BTS merch. Uh. And I have a collapsible tent. Okay. I guess. Could it be a collapsible merch table instead? That's what I'm oh, thinking. Is like, yeah. just like it yeah. like fold, it folds up into like a pocket square. Or or or, because you're an epop, right? Is it like a foldable like 
fortune teller's tent. You're like, oh, you need something? <laughs> and suddenly you're in this dark space and it's like larger on the inside than it was on the outside and it that. opens up in a second. And then they're just sitting there like, whoa, what the fuck? And you're like looking in a crystal ball and you're like, all right. <laughs> I feel like the merch stand is more on brand for us though. It could be both. You could think, give it some thought. Think about it. By the way, the mer- no, the merch stand it does it's it works as both. I gotta thank Maze Minecraft for the cheers there in the chat. Thank you, uh, Maze Minecraft. I don't know if that pop if the um, the alert popped up on the overlay like it was supposed to, but oh, it did. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, I don't know if the alert did. It popped but the, up in the chat. The chat. But there thank is you. an alert box that that well. Right on. Maybe somebody caught it. So very cool. Uh. All right, so I have a question real quick. I want to circle back to the datapad staff. You don't have to come up with it right now, but think about what that thing might be called. I want a sweet name. I want a sweet-ass name for that datapad staff at some point here. Um, we'll think of something. Yeah. Because I, I also like the idea that, like, on the other end, you can, like, uncap it and it's just a giant USB rod. Sure. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. All right, so did you write down your advanced skills yet? I don't think we got that far. My advanced skills are two awareness, two evaluate, one second sight, which, according to the rulebook, is like looking at magic and everything. Oh, yeah. Which I was like, I don't know if we're like going into magic and sci fi mix or not. Because if we're. Okay. Because it's like. The way those skills work is just flavor it like however it's applicable. Exactly. Yeah, you know no, I, mean? I was like, if we're going with sci-fi, I'm just like, oh, he can hack stuff. Yeah. He's like the data stream. It's, says it's not. This. It's not even limited. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if if you look at your thing and you go, I think I can stretch this. Like, stretch it as far as you think it'll go. <laughs> oh, I already love this game. Yeah. The the skills um, are totally wild. I have one etiquette. One fist fighting and one run. And then my special skill. I may test my luck to get a yes or no answer question about mundane matters. Mm. The game master makes this test in private and does not tell me if my if it's accurate or not. I love that. So <laughs> nice. Much. I love that so much. Uh, very cool. I you know to to Riley's point about the skills, the book definitely does say to the GM, like if you need a skill, advanced skill, just make it up. <laughs> if you don't mm-hmm. know one, just on make the, it up. It. On the Melsonia server, we've made over two thousand skills, and they're absolutely absurd. I need to get into that. Is that a dis- that's a Discord server? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I need to try to get into that Discord server so I can uh, peruse two thousand skills. Anyway. Um, yeah. Cool. So, Connor, why don't you think some more about some details like names and whatnot, and, like, uh, we'll... Oh, I already have a name. (laughs) You think I didn't have a random generator going? I'm just checking in on some of these skills, and the the current ones are walking without bones, (laughs) seeing through wooden doors, noodle arts, skeleton puppies, deboning, reboning, bone picking... (laughs) I'm just people are on a bone pick right now. It's amazing. I like deboning and reboning. Yeah. <laughs> um. Well, okay. So you already have a name. Lay it on us. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Trim Radus. Okay. T R Y M space capital R A D U with a little mark over it Z. So Trim T R I M. Y M. See, I'm slow. You gotta, you gotta remember how slow I am. I'm a, I'm a slow old man. T R Y M, and then what was it? Radus. R A D. U with a little mark over it. Oh, sure. Z. What do you call that little mark? It's over the U. I don't know. An accent mark. That's too boring. Anyway, uh, it's fine. Um, Could be an accent mark. I don't know. It's just that little thing over the U. He's got that if that's what you want to call it. Trim Reddy's got that little thing over the U. I get it. Uh, <laughs> so, Trim, does Trim, I love, Trim's a great name, by the way. Does Trim, uh, we know what Trim does, like, 
for the band, right? We know what Trim does for like the social media merch and all that. Does Trim do anything on the ship as far as ship crew activities? Maybe communications? So, I don't know. I'm just throwing shit out there. I think like technically no. But he also just can't stand when things are like not efficient. So he does just go around and fix like any of the tech problems that pop up. I I love the idea that Ben's like trying to make us um, run through adventures on the ship. And every time he asks one of us, so what do you do on the ship? We go fucking nothing, dude. (laughs) (laughs) We're we're on lunch. (laughs) It's all good. <laughs> so funny. Uh, all right, cool. All right, well let's 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 see what Ashton's been doing over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been waiting to check in. Furiously typing, like. <laughs> yeah. So um, oh, I the, we're on the spaceship. It sounds like I can hear it. What? Oh, fuck off! <laughs> it's. Don't pay attention. I'm sorry, is um, there wind back there? I can't. There's no um, wind in space. Um, um, you're fine. I guess I won't tell you my character's name. Oh, come on. Salty. Anyway, Salty um, I'm going to, I'm going to go with, <laughs> uh, Vernon Comets. Yes. And, um, but his friends, uh, call him Big V. Um, <laughs> No, stop, wait, no. <laughs> I I use that as a nickname for a person in my life. I can't take it back. <laughs> um Honestly I spent the whole time looking at that name. I was I was coming up with that really good bit of <laughs> Vernon Big V comments. Are you telling me that was so? First of all, I just want to go over this real quick. So that was that was what you did when you looked at your furiously. You looked like you looked like um, that. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. GIF where he's got like the crazy board behind him. That's what you looked like. And the result, I was... <laughs> the result of that was you came up with Vernon Big V comments, a name that's questionable for Connor. That we might not even necessarily be able to stick with because of because of that. Oh no, we can stick with it. I'm just never gonna say it because every time I say it, I'm gonna be thinking of the uh, person you know to whom I have a complicated relationship. Um, um, give me, give me, give me, give me two, ten literally more, two seconds. Ten more minutes. To... To... No, 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 no. I just need two seconds because I want to Google one. Thing. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, um, one um, Mississippi, two Mississippi. Um, okay, moving on. Well, Dang, that was some okay. like that's what like kids would say. All right, now tell me. Right so I could stick with Vernon Comets, or I could do um, Gregory Comets, um, and his friends call him G Spot. Which one do you guys like better? <laughs> I hear They're the both chat. so good. I hear the chat <laughs> what kind of Sophie's choice is this? <laughs> we need the chat to weigh in. You have to make the call. You have to chastise one of your children, and you have to reward the other. So yeah. <laughs> we can't make that call. <laughs> well, let's let the chat weigh in on this one. Big V or G spot? Yeah. So we'll Big V or G spot? We'll give some time for for some. Uh, is the delay between us saying it in the chat? So let's let's give them a chance to make so that good. fucking Sophie's choice. Um, I want to talk a little bit. Let's move. Let's let's let that hang out there in the ether for a second here. Um, do we have a favorite beer brand yet? And and like, what is space beer like in our universe? Is it just beer? Is it some sort of weird green alien shit? Like, what are we talking? Uh, about? Whatever. Whatever name doesn't get picked is probably the name of the beer. I think is what Ash said. I love that. <laughs> With uh, just Starla Artois, but um, that's good. Did you say Starla yeah. Artois? Yeah, good? Starla Artois. Yeah, that's good. Oh, this is a little or, for uh, or or um or uh uh Milwaukee Way's Best Light. Um, 
you know, uh, one of the two. <laughs> wow. It depends it on what he's into. It could be Milky Way because it might be uh, from the planet Milk. Milky That's Way, true. Milky Way's best. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Yeah. That's good. It's light though. It's Milky Way's best light. It's not just it's light. Yeah. It's not just Milky Way's yeah. best. It's Milky Way's best so, light. So, so he no. can session them. So he can session a few of them without. Yeah. Gotta, too, it gotta knock them back. Yeah. Exactly. Pound them down. Um, yeah. We yeah. Had a, he we keeps got up a, like kids like that. <laughs> we exactly. So we got uh, straw B three milk in the chat, who I have to imagine is from the cereal bowl in our galaxy, from maybe mm. maybe hanging out the planet milk. Uh, says G Spot. So we got one vote from G Spot. Uh, thank you. Yeah, where should be also says G Spot. B Milk. Oh, we got more than one. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We got two, two, got two votes for G Spot. I mean, yeah. Greg, Gregory comment is really good. Greg is a good dad name. Yeah. It is a good I mean, dad name. I think Vernon has got to be my son, okay. or one of for my sure. sons in that case. Slim V. I mean, he could be my oldest child, so I do just call him Big V. Um, <laughs> Poor Connor. Uh, no, I'm like, it's fine. I'm just going to have... It's just really weird hearing it in context. So is one of the sons named Vernon? I mean, one of them, yeah. Just, just for... Just so we all remember what almost was. I do really like Slim V though. I like Slim, Slim V is very funny. I like Slim V. <laughs> and what's the other son's name? Um, I have I have um many beautiful sons. Um, and two of them. Um, all made. sons, no daughters. <laughs> I have beautiful daughters too, but I also have beautiful sons. Yep. Um, well, my daughters are very handsome, and my sons are beautiful. That's what I like to say for equality. Um, nice. um, I the think, uh, son's name is, hold on. Um, I mean, I'm son. definitely random son name generator. Yeah, there, no. There's gotta be okay. two I children think... that are either yes. somehow related to the band or the crew. Yes. Okay. Well, so one that, of so them, um, I, one of my children's names is Colin. Um, okay. Spelled and then... like C-O-L-I-N. No, C O L O N. Okay. Um, his name is Colin. Colin Comets. Okay. He's very yeah. cool. He's my cool son. Um, uh -huh. And I'm gonna uh, put sunglasses next to his name. Yeah, exactly. And then um, I like my. Uh, uh, I think I'm gonna go with Staven for another son name. How many sons do you have? Because you need two. Things. I have I have multiple sons, but Staven is the one who got like the ride to like Face Harvard. Um, Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, 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 yeah. Space. I'm oh, very so proud of Steven. Are these the two that are relevant to like your special skill when we're when we're on board? No, Steven is like off, um, living his life without okay. me, which is fine. Um, be, he's also my youngest. It's fine. Um, it's just like the baby, the baby left the nest. Um, but, um, yeah, it's going to be, uh, Colin, Colin and Vernon are my two, my two beautiful boys on the ship. Colin and Vernon. Yep. Uh, okay. What do they do with big time space? Are they instrumentalists? Is it like, like we were talking about before? It's like one of them, uh, a drummer, one of them plays Colin's the Bassist. Cole Are you is, kidding me? Cole Cole the plays bassist. the bass. Um, okay. He's very good at it. I'm very proud. Um, Wait, is and... it like bass guitar or is he playing bass synthesizer? Oh, it's it's <laughs> me... it's. I mean, it has to be bass guitar though, because like he's yeah. bass he's guitar. Because he's bass like guitar. it's like yeah, yeah. he's cool, but he's not like like weird cool. You know what I mean? Like he is like leather jacket yeah. cool. He's cool, but he's not like fitting in with the rest yes, of the band. Exactly. He, he yeah. Could, he could be the basis for any band. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. He's he versatile. Just gets paid here. He's the yeah. one who like on the poster has his back turned to the rest yeah. of the band. Yeah. 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 You think I'm sorry, all, I'm all the girls him. love him. You think Big Time Space <laughs> shares the poster with any of his backup bandmates? No. 
I don't think so. <laughs> I don't fucking think so. Uh, what about Vernon? What Look, you big time. They have I'm to do telling you. Posters. <laughs> <laughs> they had their own poster. <laughs> I'm telling you, it they was get their own smaller posters. <laughs> <laughs> Little post-it note. <laughs> yeah. Addendums. So, what does Vernon do? And then, um, Vernon, uh, I think, I think Vernon plays the drums. Okay. He's he it. does he does drums, um, but like he's not the only drummer. Um, and I, his specialty is like the triangle, but he's really good at it. I was gonna like, suggest re- cowbell. Like, really so triangle, good. triangle is good. Triangle and cowbell, like both, like yeah. like like the instrument, like and tambourine. Like he's really good at like percussion instruments that you play standing up. Um, so like, it, he's like it, it seems easy, but he is like the best. And I'm not, I'm not just biased. I am biased, but he really is the best. He's won several awards for um, his great uh, percussion skills. Love it. Yeah. He's also a hugger. <laughs> He's a hugger. By the way, I just want to throw out there thanks to the chat because we got Afterthought Games in the chat threw out there for us. I asked for uh, to name <laughs> Space Harvard where Steven... Uh, made it into, got that ride to Space Harvard, and it is now going to be named Marvard. It's spelled yeah, that Mars- was me. Oh, okay, that's fine. You shouldn't have come out and said it. The spa- the uh, the I love it. Marvard is good. The S is silent. I love it. I love it. So Marvard, the S is silent. Uh, so, that's so good. All right. So okay, I let. The, I want to keep getting the. I want to keep keeping the chat involved, and I. <laughs> wanted to do that throughout the whole session last time. We did it more in the beginning and, and weaned off of it. So I want to remember to keep giving up yeah. for the chat to, to help us name stuff and whatever. Uh, okay, cool. Fine. I guess I'll actually like log in and watch our own chat. Whatever. Maybe I'll be able to interact with the viewers or something, I guess. Yes, mm-hmm. if I must do that. Uh, cool. So let's see. We got Vernon, Slim V, uh, Comets, and Colin Cool. I put Cool Comets in front because you know, he's so pretty. Colin cool. Yeah, he's Comet. Cool. Cool Shades. Comet. You go with Shades. He's got the shades. Oh, Shades. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Because he always wears shades yeah. on stage. They're like, dude, it's dark as hell on stage. You're not going to be able to see. I don't he doesn't need fuck. you to know how to play. Yeah. He has a gift. Yeah. Um, he has a gift. <laughs> All right. He has oh, a gift. Fuck. Uh, cool. Um, does. Okay. Does Greg. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not, okay, I also, I was, another thing I was doing while coming up with uh, the name was I was um, Googling uh, Mrs. Doubtfire, and, oh. um, <laughs> Go on. and I was just, like, I think there was, if it's not still going on, there definitely was a point in time where he, like, snuck on to like the ship to be part of the crew to be near his sons um dressed as an old woman um uh, mrs doubtfire style <laughs> can I ask you that is so that? good yeah, yeah. I'm curious why. no no you can't okay. <laughs> no, no i don't take constructive criticism yeah it, it happened so long ago that everyone's just like i'd rather not even bring that yeah. up <laughs> I mean, it I was, was just, a really weird time. I was just trying to figure out, like, <laughs> why, just being, about that, why please? being an old woman versus being an old man helped him get on the ship in an easier way. Because, because um, he didn't. Yeah, he didn't want his kids to know that he was there. Um, he wanted to like watch from a distance, but like you know, like still be with them. And um, also, I like to imagine that everyone has a different rumor for what happened. <laughs> like everyone you talk to is going to say some wild, different story. Yeah, I just read somebody yeah. on like TTRPG Twitter today talking about like having your characters come up with like your players come up with like rumors about their characters. So and I mm-hmm. and I and I loved that. I was like, that's such a great mm-hmm. like constantly spinning out rumors about your characters. Uh, so I feel like that's I love the idea that everybody has a different rumor about why Greg is how Greg got here. Yeah. 
but no one will talk about it. <laughs> also, there is an ancient chair, which I mean, yeah, just imagine you had to, you had to get that here somehow. Yeah, it really hurt my back. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I have a question about old G Spot here. Yeah. Um, I guess the question is, what does he do, if anything, other than other than criticize one child while lifting up the other one, and vice versa? Oh, he definitely um, has a role, right? Yeah, so yeah. he is, like, um, he's definitely there for, like, moral support. Um, <laughs> for not only his sons now. He's but, a super um, fan. Yeah, he is a super fan. <laughs> yeah. He, he's he, asked... He's, <laughs> he's no. the one that, like, carries BTS home when he gets too drunk. Oh, that's an important <laughs> role. Yeah. yeah. That's a re- actually or like, having a dad. He's the one very- that gets all the Facebook video footage yeah. from like the grainy side view at yeah. every show. Is there a version- nobody watches it but him and all of his like old friends from high yeah. school? Yeah, that's what's gonna ask you. Is there a version of social media like that's not whatever yep. uh, that Trim uses, but like only old people use? That's yeah, like it's not face. We can't Facebook. It can't be called Facebook though. It's gotta be called it's Facebook. Facebook. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Facebook, of course. <laughs> Oh, the UI interface for Spacebook is just so it's right in front <laughs> of us. Dated. I'm I'm like I I got it, and then all of like my friends will comment whenever I post a video, and it's like, Greg, are those your son? Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember when he was only two feet tall. <laughs> all kinds of shit like that. They're so grown up already. I don't know if you know this, but Donna has arthritis. <laughs> yeah, random shit. You're, you're gonna answer your phone, Greg? <laughs> How's your youngest doing? <laughs> yeah. I heard he went to space Harvard. <laughs> yeah. Nope, Harvard. You saw Staven the other day, just random fucking shit. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love Do you that remember song. high school, Greg? <laughs> I'm yelling because they always type in capital letters. They type in capital letters, yeah. yeah. That's how yeah. Greg, call <laughs> me. So you can see it from space. <laughs> That's <laughs> love to catch up. <laughs> they actually, no, no other Greg, contacts. Just is, call me, all caps. <laughs> if Greg is ever gone uh, for for a, an episode, he's he's definitely at like his fiftieth high school reunion or some shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll all be fiftieth high school reunions, and we'll play that scene out. That's, that's, that's so good. We need to do that. Yes. Uh, cool. Would, would BTS play that <laughs> venue? This is definitely a future episode. I think that. We oh, are. please. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I feel like it's like BTS says no, but we all like. Mm-hmm. That's we all have to like now con him into get, doing yeah. it. Yeah, that is the kind of yeah. missions I have planned. You all have to figure out a way to get yeah. BTS to play at the re- fifty-year high school reunion, and like you have yeah. to figure out how the fuck that's gonna you're gonna make that happen. Greg promised, <laughs> and he can't be embarrassed again. Yeah, <laughs> in front of all of his friends. Exactly. Not after the twenty-fifth reunion. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Yep. Really fudged that one up. Mm-hmm. Love it. Um, okay. All right. So let's look at all three. So I actually, after all of that, do have the most notes written down about in the note sheet here about G Spot and about Trim Trim how do you say Raiders? Raid Ra Reduce? Reduce. How did you say Trim's last name? Is that how it was? Uh, how did I say that? Yeah. Give me a I do. Let me, let me take... I think it was Radu's or Radu. Uh, Something like that. Okay. Marinara. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with Radu's for now. Mm-hmm. Radu you know? for now. Uh, then I do about Jody, and that's mostly just because, like, when we start, I just didn't write more down. I wrote down cyborg and I wrote old and beat down. That's all I wrote. <laughs> That's all you need to know about Jody, man. That's right. Oh, Jody's work is in the background. I thought I remember something I was gonna say about G Spot. Uh, I like the idea that the ancient chair is like okay. So like we covered this last time for people who are watching and maybe list missed the last episode. The there is no formal captain of our ship. 
the anything ghosts. Right. The captain mm-hmm. is the ghost captain of the ship, who's also the um, what do you call the masthead, the masthead, right? Head, yep. And I gotta scroll back in the notes. What is his name? Walter Peanuts. How could I possibly have forgotten? Walter that? Peanuts. Um, Peanuts. But I like that, like, uh, like, like a like Star Trek or something. Um, there is still a like a like a main bridge of the ship, and you've just put the ancient armchair in the middle where like a captain chair would be. And even though Greg is not the captain at all, like anytime the yeah. viewfinder goes on, like it's just like you know Greg is just in his. He's, chair. he's sleeping with like a book, and, <laughs> <laughs> like every time. Right. In no way, shape, or form is Greg the captain, and yet, yeah, uh, there's the chair. There's the chair. Yeah. Yeah. And if anybody touches it, like when the new guy was hired, you remember when he almost sat down in the chair and like the whole world slowed to a halt. <laughs> we we're all like, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's fit to my body so perfectly that if anyone else sits in it, I'll like, like the Rugrats that. grandpa. Do you remember yes, that episode? Yes. <laughs> with, the, with the mattress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. I love it. All right, let's see. Uh what else do we want to know to get to know these these folks? Do we want to say how long each person's been associated with BTS and like how that happened or we could save some of that for the future too. We don't have to come up with all of it here. That's that's up to you. Like what do you yeah. what do you need question. to know to to, you know, set up the next episode? Yeah, let's let's um well, so last time we we at the end of the last episode, and what what does the chat want to know? What do I people do, in the chat want to know about our characters? Good call, Riley. That's what I was thinking too. Uh, last time we in our first episode when we did our world building at the very end of the stream, I made a promise, which is there was a twist that I was going to talk about uh, here. Mm. So maybe this is a good moment for me to talk about. There is one other complicating factor to our world that I have yet to say. I think our cast knows what it is, but um, if you if they remember. And that is that uh, after – so the most recent event in fiction to happen in the life of – in the career and life of Big Time Space uh, and then in a relevant way to the uh, stage and ship crew here of the Anything Ghosts is that um, there was a huge controversy at the Music Hall of Fame. <laughs> what it, what the it, Music Hall of Fame, yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's that's a very generic. And what was it? Just Music Hall of Fame awards, I think. It's yeah. just it's just the same Music Hall of Fame that has persisted this many years. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And uh, at the music at the awards, the music awards at the Music Hall of Fame, uh, Brainchild uh, rejected his award or their award. I don't know what pronouns Brainchild uses. Um, and there was a squeak squawk fan riot. Mm-hmm. Destroyed the big time space memorial, uh, the memorial to the first big time space concert. Destroyed the stuffed dinosaur. Uh, the ghost of Clamato's ladder haunted the shit out of Jacob's ladder, who sang a tribute. Anyway, after that was the most recent thing to sort of happen in the career of big time space, and this is sort of post that controversial event that went down, and kind of spurred on by that. A interstellar reality show has like I, I I think that this probably comes from either Mama Space Bucks or maybe from it's a PR thing for exactly. sure right yeah like that's a total Space Bucks move exactly and so now there is a intergalactic like interstellar reality TV show uh, crew fall like on the ship. And uh, so the t- so that's part of the premise here is that it's going to be a reality show, constantly like interviewing each of you, like with um, whatever they call them in in reality shows. Yeah. Where, do you know what I'm saying? Like you have like your sides, talking, like, yeah. yeah, talking heads, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And, and in fact, actually, I'm, my plan here, and if we can avoid, we wouldn't have been able to make it work tonight. But but uh, my plan is when I have the overlay working right, is to be able to like switch the overlay so there is like talking head view for each of you. So at any nice. moment when we want to do talking head view, we can just switch into your <laughs> camera, oh like God. you talking, mom, I love your that. camera. Um, so that's our other uh, twist I promised uh, last time. Uh, did anybody answer you about? Um, things they want to know about the characters. I don't think so. 
Um, but f keep throwing them out. If anybody has anything in the chat that they want to, you want to know about these characters, uh, break them out. But let's talk about let's talk about Jody. Uh, okay. How long has Jody been? Is Jody like an OG? I think Jody's OG because like the 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 way I imagined it was in the very first gigs you need somebody who can do it for free and you make compromises. Yeah. And that was Jody. <laughs> okay. Jody was like I'm living in my car. If you can just like get me free food from the venue every night, I will set your shit up. And what have you got to lose in those early days? You know what I mean? And and he's just been there since, like, just keeping his head down and fucking doing the work. So, so he's seen all sorts of people come and go, you know? Has he been there since the stank pot days? For sure. For sure. Yeah. That's uh, So that's the thing is, like, VTS probably didn't realize how much I smelled like shit because he thought it was the venue. And then when we finally moved on to, like, bigger and better things... Uh, it was like, oh, wow, this guy stinks. <laughs> but it's too late. It's too late. Nothing that can be done at that point. It's too late. Yeah. Um, okay. And I'm curious then what Jody's relationship is with like, I, I mean, it's not really a surprise that he's one of the reject residents of Milk. As it turns out, because it makes sense, um, Stankpot does smell of piss and Fruit Loops, so it makes a lot of sense. That's right. I'm curious right. what uh, his relationship is with, like, say, Lucky the Milk King, or because because one of the yeah, I, I won't say any more than that. But just curious, like, what kind of relationship do you think Jody has with Lucky the Milk King, and his like um, his his sort of mafioso empire. I, I don't think I'm in too deep, like, with the, the top of that empire. I definitely play around in, like, the small pond, though. I, I see here, you know, winning at tabletop games and right. and uh, playing games of Gambling, chance and right. stuff like that. And mm -hmm. so I, I, I'm definitely a gambler. And I think that in those early days, I might have introduced BTS to those tables who then on his own or their own would have advanced and advanced with their money yeah. and probably gotten into debt the way that they got into debt later right. on um but yeah I, I i would not be up in that territory but, i think i i have too much small change you know i don't have any big money to work with even still does jody have gambling debt to the milk king's empire to lucky's empire uh let's see here my luck is a seven uh yes he does I rolled over. Love it. Love it. Okay. Cool. So, all right. How about, um, we already kind of went over how Greg, the hush hush nature of Greg coming onto the ship. How long has it been since Colin, since old shades and slim V, uh, started playing uh, background for big time space. Um, I mean, I don't think it's been too long. Um, it's uh, they're the pros, right? Yeah, right, yeah, right, exactly. I mean, a couple of years for sure, but not. They're not like they're they're very. They're still my beautiful young boys. Um. And, uh, you know, I'm not, like, telling them that I want grandchildren right now. Um, but, like, very soon I will be. So, like... You do bring it up, though. I, I Occasionally, just like, hey, yeah. just in the future. Um, uh, but, uh, so, I think, like, maybe, like, yeah, just a couple of years. Like, like enough where we're, like, situated and we know what's going on. But, Yeah. <laughs> yeah probably like three four uh, yeah around hours. that area yeah okay All Not, right. he got big he needed to hire pros yeah i'm thinking and that's where your yeah your I'm, came I'm thinking about how the rest of the cereal bowl besides milk is like ritzy and glamorous and like mm -hmm. you know like really and i'm thinking that's probably where yeah shades and slim v are from 
Oh yeah, yeah. We they had a very a very beautiful and nice upbringing. Oh. Um, I was a uh, I was a space lawyer for a while. Oh. Yeah. What kind of space law did you do? Marine. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maritime law. <laughs> But not like space, not like interstellar maritime law, like actual yes. boats on one of the planets. No, it was it was it was it was a water planet. It yeah. was an all water planet. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Well, we were not from that planet. I just You're I right. I liked it. I like so I I went there. Maritime law is really is important on it on that planet. I mean, it's like is that where the boy's mom is from? Maybe. Uh, yeah, that's what it's gotta yeah. be. Yeah. yeah. Are they half she was like a fish? Yeah, I was like, are they half they're fish half, people then? They're half fish boys, oh and they're God, very I have to tell you that I can't begin to tell you how relevant that is to something I planned. Like, uh, it, it was something I planned so that I had something in the back pocket in case, in case we needed to like play a scene out tonight. And uh, you know, I'm just gonna. T- I feel like I have to tease everybody real quick. I think like I have to drop this. Yeah. Are you all ready to be able to handle this? I don't know if you are. I'm just real yeah. quick I'm gonna give a tease. And then I'm going to pull it back. And then we'll find out later what it means. All right, ready? Here we go. And there's a delay. It's not, you got to be looking at the... You have to oh, my God. The, you have to be looking at the stream. All right, it's I gone. I took it that. away. I took it away. It's gone. Right. Oh, oh, my God. Just as I was about to open it. I'm sorry. You missed wow. a chance. Missed a chance. Okay. Okay. It's All really right. good. That's All right. What you got going on. Okay. All right. So that's good. So a couple of years. Um, do they look like part? Like, what do they look like? Do they look like fish people? Now I need to know more about this. Um, they definitely have. Like... Wait, wait. Can I ha- can I throw an idea? Yes. Yeah. Did you ever watch H2O just add water? Shut the fuck up. It's that's just what that. I was going to say. Fuck off. Yes, that's it. That's it. They can't get wet. Is that that? That's on like Disney, right? Uh, Nickelodeon. 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 Nickelodeon something. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. You just personally yeah. offended Ashton right there. I love H two O, and to this day, whenever oh, my friends are like, "You want to watch a movie?" I'm like, "Do you want to just watch H two O?" Like, <laughs> it's it's a it's a great show. I think it's very good. Um, the one where they all fake sickness and like where they because it's raining outside and then like they fucking like pretend like they have like a really like aggressive disease very good killer Wait, episode what happens if you add water to them you don't you don't want to add water to them <laughs> you don't want to okay you don't want to do it they can't even moisturize it's a big deal they talk about it <laughs> it's actually a biggest issue for colon because you know, he tries to be the really cool one, so yeah. like he needs really good skincare, but he can't moisturize. Yeah. <laughs> well, he technically he can moisturize his face because it is just his legs that get True. bad. He did like an ad campaign once, but didn't <laughs> tell them first. Although, if we're going by the H two O lore, I'm very curious because there was that one episode where Emma dyed her hair red in mermaid form, and then when she went back into human form, like it was blonde again and it was only red when she was she had a tail and so yeah. I'm, I'm curious if the face if like you're moisturizing your face if that only would be in mermaid form human form or yeah anyway what were we talking about so that's for <laughs> yeah kind of that's for next out. time you go like on a on a cars lore trip kind of black yeah. out there and just heard a bunch of stuff about that um <laughs> they, have, they, they do have some they... scales yeah <laughs> But but if they get wet, they grow. They grow. They turn into um, fish boys. They turn into beautiful fish boys. Can they still play their instruments? That's going to be really important. No, wait. Yeah, of course. Don't tell us yet because that'll be no. a, an episode right there. Fish boys accidentally get wet. Um, let's talk about Trim some more then. How long has Trim been doing social media management and like merch management and stuff? <laughs> and um, is Trim a Mama Space Bucks plant. That's what I'm wondering. Mm-hmm. Or maybe somebody else. I don't know. Okay. So what it is, is like 
You know, right? You know how like Big Time's face like went away and stopped being relevant and got into debt? Of course. And then was and then just recently started like throwing out album after album and getting popular. Well, getting popular, trying to get out of debt, yeah. Yeah. But like getting popular in, sure. in the meantime. Um like his second album released and people were like Oh, this is actually kind of a banger. Like he's because I thought we said it was the third album that everyone was like, "Oh my god, look at this!" It was right after his second album that Trim was like, "He's trending. Ah, this could be my chance." Okay. Uh, so I think that's how he got in on it because he was just like, "Oh, the algorithm." <laughs> so how long ago do we think that that was for? For like big time space, how long has it been since that since that second album? That's a good question. Well, so you've been longer. You've been on the ship longer than than Greg. Yes, probably right because Greg came probably on with the uh, ritzy like with once the before. money yes. and the fame and the yeah. Once everything really started rocketing, that's when they would have been like, we need to hire the pros. I mean, shades. Yeah. We need shades. Shades on the base. Shades, shades comes with Slim V. Yeah. Need more of that Again, well. he's a fantastic percussionist. <laughs> Cannot stress that enough. Nobody plays the triangle like Slim V. His timing is impeccable. Oh my god. One time I saw I I don't remember the band's name though. I so I saw the Cure play, and it was another band that was sort of like a like a new like a like a new new wave band. I don't know what you call that, but like a, like a 2000s era new wave band. And they just had a person whose entire job was playing the cowbell, but also dancing. So yep. like, he danced like a freaking crazy monkey person on the stage. And he's just like, I've never seen someone dance with more heart and soul than this guy. And then he yeah. just wail in that cowbell and they go back and just flail in his arms and dance like like that's the kind of energy that i imagine yes exactly Slim v yeah brings to the tambourine and the, and the triangle exactly because it, colin has no energy because he's so cool like it's not a bad it's just like he he's so effortlessly talented he shit like oh, i could play this shit all on one string you know yeah exactly he's and he could himself. yeah and he could but, uh, of course. yeah but you know Slim v my, my boy vernon he's he he goes all out, and I respect him for that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just saw what you said in the chat before. About the ball. It's just a large talking fish. Well, Greg that's down, dude. That's relevant because I already made that. A, I have a whole background to that yeah. image I showed you that involves like yeah. there being a space, a race of just oh, talking so fish, good. and so it's, it's just it's yes, so good. very relevant. Um. So anyway, Connor, <laughs> what, how long? Okay, you, yeah. <laughs> so if the boys have been there a couple years, yeah. then like, I don't know, three years? Okay. You might have all been hired in the same kind of, you know, wave. Just like when, when they went pro, everybody got yeah. brought on. Yeah, it makes sense. Or like right – well, yeah, but the whole point is that you got on – you jumped on board right before – the full oh, that's yeah. true, because you predicted it before anybody else could even catch on. Yeah, that's I got true. in on the second album, and, you know, I'm you, assuming he's only doing, like, one You might have gone to Mama Space Bucks and been like, hey, this is about to go down. Yeah. And she's like, what? You you could have been the one that, like, orchestrated it all if I you're the that. epoch. I was thinking it'd be more fun if, like, he got in on it and he was like, this is my gravy train. And then Mama Space Bucks came in and was like, no, no, this is my gravy train. Nice. You can either play the game or not, because I have 10 social media managers right here for your job. Nice. Yeah, so she knew that you were, you know, trying to come for it, but she, like, turned it around on you because she's been around the block, is what you're saying. She saw right yeah, there. I yeah, I like to think there was like you know like a scene, like a scenic chase where like they were both go like Mama Spacebooks like they had that conversation, and Mama Spacebooks was like going to the meeting to like tell BTS like this is who your new team is and everything like I got you these new band boys and everything, and as she walked in, uh, Trim was just already in the room like sitting in a chair with a smarmy smile like BTS just agreed that I'm his social media manager. It's so good to meet you. 
what was Trim doing before, like, before becoming the BTS social media manager? Like, what was the last gig that Trim was doing? Okay, so it was he was actually between gigs. Okay. So he had been doing, like, media man- management and analytics mm-hmm. for, Facebook? like, insert... For, for Spacebook, yes. But then they fired him because, like, he's not, he's really not the best at his job. He's a little bit of a gam, he's a little bit of a gambler like that. He's like, the algorithm is predicting this. But, like, you know, it's like the stock algorithm. It's like, well, yeah, the algorithm says it, but. Was Trim responsible for, like, letting the algorithm push this thing called like space book groups, even though like it was really undermining space democracy. And like, there was a lot of like, it was obvious that it was obvious that there was a lot of misinformation and disinformation on these space book groups. But, but Tim kept being like, no, we have to trust the algorithm. We have to trust the algorithm. And then society almost collapsed. And so they had to fire him. Is that? Yes. Is that what you're it's saying? exactly that. Is that what you're saying? It's because okay. here's the, here's the thing. The algorithm says we're getting a lot of engagement from, from exactly. these Facebook groups. Exactly. We're getting engagement. Yeah. Uh, but, well, who cares about disinformation? We're getting engagement. Of all these old people who are just all caps yelling at each other in Facebook groups. Exactly. And for every single thing they send out, that's data, baby. <laughs> so I think he was in between gigs and he was like, he was just like getting by by like, you know, going up to people and being like, hey, so for X amount of money, I can get you verified on Spacegram. Spacegram. Okay. And then, you know, would like <clears throat> kind of just like hack Spacegram and get them a check mark. All right. But then they would lose like a week later. Because, or like, you know, he'd go up and be like, yeah, yeah, I can get you 10,000 followers on your whatever account. You just have to post how I tell you. And, like, it was hit or miss. How does uh, Trim feel about Brainchild? Brainchild? The best thing for this band ever. Really? Why is that? Did you see... All he did was climb a statue. And did you see the way he got people up? He is trending and trending. So, So Trim's not worried that brainchild might like overtake big time space in terms of like trending and uh stealing the ultimately stealing the the limelight well i mean that's not really my concern worst case i'll just like merge their profiles (laughs) Or just start working for Brainchild. That's what I was wondering. But I like the idea that you're not worried about in interspace. That yeah. work would be great. I love that intraspace. Uh, that's some good Insta space, I think. Inst- oh, did I re- misread it wrong? Let's see, I'm old. I said, I said before, I admit it, I said before, I'm an old man, I can't read. It says Insta space. It's better. It's better. Uh, okay, cool. Like, um, I don't. Oh, Insta space is a separate thing. I like to think that there's like a lot more social media companies now. There's yeah. been a long time to develop so many of them. It's all like one parent company, really, but like different outlets. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all Yahoo, actually, which is the weirdest <laughs> thing. It's like, what a comeback. <laughs> I was thinking Bing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, but Bing is owned by Microsoft, and that's just too obvious anyway. Like, it could always oh, come yeah. back. Right. Uh, I love that it's Yahoo, though, because, like, nobody sees that shit coming at all. Yeah, their their new tagline is, like, everyone can hear Yahoo in space. <laughs> and then it goes, Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love it. All right, so I feel like this is a good. This has been a good world uh, character creation session. I feel like we have our. We know a lot about Jody, Greg G Spot comets, and Trim Redus. Or I'm gonna start calling Trim Ragu because it's just stuck in my head that way. I just accidentally. Uh, and so um, next time we're gonna pick up with. I think that like I'll just sort of say that we're going to start next time 
um, on our ship that nobody maybe does anything on. Um, and we've, we're going to kick off with like the fact that this new, that this, um, we need to come up with a name for our interstellar television or our, what's a good name. We'll for do that our... off camera and, and reveal it yeah. next time. There you go. We're going to be, so we'll be on anything ghost. Um, we're going to be, I'll just clue people in that we're going to, when we kick off next time, we will be in, and I'm scrolling. That's why I'm trying to stall. We will be in the waiting room. Uh, which is our like uh, waiting space that you have to wait when you're traveling around in inner space. And then like one more time for just for fun here, this will be my last tease for what people could expect next time. Um, okay. It's the Google Doc again. No. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> what do you expect? Next time is uh is I wish I could make the mouth on this fish move when I talk so badly. Captain Billy River. It does say that. Yep, it does say that. <laughs> I wish I could make it uh so should I do the entire like end of the show outro with this fish up on the screen? What do you think? Yes. All right. Absolutely. Why not? Okay. And shake it up and down while you do. <clears throat> oh wait, that's the wrong thing. I moved the overlay instead. Hold on, I gotta move. Captain Billy Rivers. <laughs> I can't gracefully move it up and down enough to like make it seem like it's talking for me. There you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. So, uh, um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, this That'll wrap this episode of Big Time Space. <laughs> if anybody wants to watch more of this, you can watch this next week <laughs> as we come back. And there's just a fish. Uh, talk no. Um, as we come back and uh, begin actually playing our game, now that we've done our world building, now that we've done our character creation, um, we will begin playing next week, 9 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesday. Um, we are a production of All Ports Open of the All Ports Open Network. You can check out our great shows, our podcasts, actual play streams, horror game, video game playthroughs. Uh, stuff that's fish related and non fish related content and more by visiting allportsopen.com. You can listen to more of Ashton Connor and myself in our Masks Actual Play podcast, Delinquent Comics. We actually had a new episode drop um, two days ago as of the stream uh, on Monday, uh, Vega Rising issue number nine. Um, Delinquent Comics is the edgy and epic young adult superhero actual play podcast that follows a team of misfit heroes forced to work together. Um, Who are and, all mean to everyone all the time. All mean all the time. That's the only tagline that Delinquent Comics needs, right? <laughs> all mean to everyone all the time. Uh, we are the villains. <laughs> it's possible. I mean, right now, technically, no, we don't are. don't spoil anything. This is like, don't spoil. People... That was not a spoiler. We have always been the villains. Right, fine. Uh, okay, let's find out where else besides that we can find our awesome cast and what other projects they want to plug. We already kind of heard it, but Riley, do you want to give us another plug as to uh, what you have going on? Sure. Uh, I am crowdfunding for Zine Month. We are trying to make a really cool uh, flippable zine. It's two books in one. And you can find that at afterthought.games. Sweet. Awesome. Uh, Ashton, what do you have going on? Uh, go listen to Friday Night Fights. Night is with a K. You can Google Friday Night Fights. Or uh, follow us on Twitter at FKF Tweets. Or follow me on Twitter at popsicle underscore Mike because I'll tweet about it and also I'll tweet about my IBS. Oh, yes, yep. Um, yep. Uh, but yeah, it's about Himbo King Arthur. Uh, it's a good podcast and we're coming back on February 4th, so go check it out. Woo. Connor, you have anything else you want to plug? Uh, no, Masks is usually the only thing I have to plug. So, hi, I'm Connor, con.castile on all platforms. Boom. If you can find my alt Twitter, which is under something else, though, good for you. Oh, snap. Uh, Why have you not sent me the link, Connor? <laughs> uh, sorry, we we work and play together, so um, there's things you don't need to see. The audience can't oh. see my shocked face uh, behind the fish <laughs> mask. Uh, I know, I'm so disappointed. Um, huge thanks to uh, Dr. Octorock for composing the Big Time Space theme song which you heard at the beginning of our stream and you'll hear again in just a minute. Uh, huge thanks to Joshua Wise, my Apon co-founder for the theme artwork, that really sweet, like um, big time space play in the guitar 
in logo that we have. Uh, Josh made that. I freaking love our artwork. I'm like in love with that picture. I think it looks super cool. Um, yeah, if you want to see more of that, subscribe to our YouTube channel um, where you'll see this episode after the fact and also maybe clips. If there's funny clips like we did last time, I made some clips. Um, you can watch clips of the show. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's all I'm saying. Um, I don't know. I don't get any other fun plugs. I don't have a good send off of this show. I am a fish. Maybe I should pull my. I, I should. Maybe I should tell people who I am. I'm Ben. I'm I'm Captain Billy Rivers. I'm not a fish. <laughs> I am a fish. <laughs> oh, boom! I'm back. Uh, yeah, I'm Ben. Find me at allportsopen.com and all the stuff we just talked about. Um, so yeah, um, I I don't have a good send off, y'all. We need a good like end of show send off. Not today, yeah. death. No, don't do that. <laughs> That's no, that's a Paul Bra Paul Blair Mall Cup two reference. Um We could do Star Trek uh a shaky spaceship. Whoa. Uh, Whoa. I'm shaking in space. Come We're down. having interference and the signal is getting lost. Oh goodbye, yeah. power bottoms. <laughs>